Welcome everyone, my name is Mr. Fart Always Nice Chris, and welcome to War Thunder. Now today we're doing a premium plane review of the i 15 3 p Shika. You can buy us at level 5, and I'm just going to go over all the good and the bad points of this aircraft and tell you whether you should buy it or not, whether it's worth your time, and then give you a few tips at the end. So I hope you enjoy. Alright, let's start with the good points. First of all, this aircraft is extremely maneuverable. Now, you kind of expect this with a biplane anyway, because most of the biplanes pretty much can outturn everything else. Um, but this is especially the case with this aircraft. I mean, it doesn't turn any quicker than the other biplanes. But because of its rank being at rank 5, every other person pretty much at this level is going to be using uh, monoplanes or single winged fighters, for those of you who don't know what monoplane is. Um, and because of that, they will not be able to outturn you that easily. Stuff like the Ki-43 will probably be, will probably be on par with your maneuverability, but for the most part, you're going to outturn everything, which is a significant advantage in turn battles. Also, this aircraft contains a great roll rate. Now, roll rates are generally used for dodging bull incoming uh, bullets and stuff like that. You can also use roll rates for turning quicker, and uh, so that is a very useful feature for this aircraft. Um, now the roll rate on this aircraft is actually kind of insane. It just rolls so damn quickly compared to like pretty much every other aircraft. And you see a lot of you see this a lot with biplanes, um, but with this aircraft, it just seems to roll like crazy. Also, this aircraft contains an amazing armament, or at least for a biplane anyway. It's got two 20mm cannons with 300 rounds of ammunition. Now, the 300 rounds part is quite significant because a lot of other aircraft who have cannons in general don't carry that much ammunition for them. So the fact that this one has 300 rounds of ammunition for two cannons, that's pretty decent. It's 150 rounds per cannon, and that will last you probably about four to five kills, depending on how accurate you are. Now, the bad or at least the bad points, I don't know why I just said the bad, it doesn't make any sense. Alright, the bad points, this aircraft, it's a biplane, so it's not going to take a lot of damage before going down, so make sure you use that turn time to your ability, um, or at least to your advantage, because if people are shooting at you, you're probably going to go down pretty quickly, unless you can get the hell out of there, so t uh, it has low damage tolerance, so be careful. Also, it's a very slow aircraft. Now, at the lower ranks, like if this was a level 1 aircraft, for example, that wouldn't be a problem at all. But the fact that it's going up against rank 5 aircraft, um, or at least rank 4 to 5 aircraft and higher, if you're going to go into higher ranks of this thing, um, pretty much every other aircraft is going to out uh, outspeed you. It doesn't really make any sense. Uh, it's going to go faster than you, so you need to be careful when engaging targets, because it's not like... Uh, some aircraft where you can like, dive down on the enemy, pick up a ton of speed, start shooting at them and just keep up with them the whole time. With this aircraft you're going to find that keeping up with enemies is not possible. As you just saw there with the A20G, I can keep up with that, so I just flew away and went elsewhere. You're not going to be able to pursue aircraft like you can normally, so that is one of the issues of this aircraft. But they're pretty much the only good and bad points i found. Now overall, this aircraft's pretty decent. Now the fact that it's level 5, um, that can be an issue in, in the sense that where it's only level 5, uh, I mean where it is level 5, sorry, and it's a biplane, it does get outperformed by most of the aircraft at this rank. Now, I have used the level 1 Shiker, which you unlock without premium, you can just buy that anyway. Now, I've used that aircraft at rank 9, and that is the same with this aircraft. You can still use it at the higher ranks, but I must stress to you that you must be careful if you're going to go into these higher rank games, because you're not going to last as long as... It, it, if you don't understand your aircraft's advantages and its disadvantages, you're not going to last that long in those uh, ranks, so just be careful of that. Now also, something I should note is that the 20mm uh, cannons uh, mounted in the nose, because they're very heavy weapons and this is a very light aircraft, the aircraft recoils a lot when you're shooting, so burst fire is a must. If you don't burst fire, you will recoil and just you'll lose speed, you won't be able to turn as quickly if you're like shooting in the turn. And you're just going to find yourself at a huge disadvantage by doing that. So just make sure that when you're firing those cannons that you do it in short control bursts. I'm not talking two second bursts either. I'm talking like like one click, release click, like really quick. So, you know, a half a second, not even that. Um, you don't want to be doing it for too long. Like I said, you'll recoil the aircraft and it doesn't work out too well. Also, your cannons are your only weapon in this aircraft. So you need to make sure that you're not wasting the ammunition. The trouble, the good thing about other aircraft, sorry, is that they have secondary armaments like 12.7mm and 6.62mm, stuff like that. So when you run out of cannon, cannon ammunition, it's not too much of an issue. You can still shoot aircraft, but with this aircraft, you need to conserve your ammunition because it's just not going to last that long. Because um, I mean, 300 rounds is a fair bit for cannons, but when cannons are your only weapon, you have to be careful because of that. 
Also, the uh, arcade performance for this aircraft is pretty decent, but if you go into historical battles, you're going to get... There's really no point, actually, in going in historical battles of this aircraft. I've done it... I've played about 20 games of this aircraft in historical battles, like by myself and for a few times with a few mates. And what I found was, where it's a rank 5 aircraft, all of the other aircraft can pretty much outspeed you. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. They can go faster than you, they can climb faster than you, they can dive faster than you. The only advantage you really have is turn time. Now, in arcade, that's not too much of an issue because there's a lot of aircraft to shoot down and people respawn and stuff. But in historical battles, people play a bit more tactically and carefully, and you're not going to encounter people as much as you do in arcade. So, in historical battles, I, I really don't see the point in using this aircraft. I think I achieved like one kill in all of those games, whereas with other aircraft uh, that, you know, they match the other aircraft at their rank, I can get like, I don't know, one or two kills per game without question. So, the thing with this aircraft is you don't want to be using it in, in historical battles. So if you're an historical battles player, then this aircraft is not for you, unless you are willing to sit and do so much practice. And even then, I'm not completely sure, uh, convinced that you will actually be able to get a lot of kills of this aircraft. So just be wary of that. I'm not saying this is a bad aircraft at all. This is a really decent aircraft. But if you're going to be using this at higher ranks, like, I mean uh, uh, historical battles, sorry, it's just not going to work out too well. That's pretty much all I've got to say about the Shriker though, so is it worth your purchase or not? I would say yes, but only if you're going to be using it in arcade battles. Also, just make sure you take into account everything I've said during this video, because if you don't know your aircraft very well in, in uh, arcade battles, sorry, uh, you're going to lo lose a lot of the time, and because this aircraft obviously does cost real life money, you don't want to be wasting your time with that, so I I'd rate this aircraft probably... Uh, if it was a lower rank, I'd probably give it like a 7 out of 10, but because it's like a 5, I'm going to give it a 6. It's a, Like I said, it's a pretty decent aircraft, but it just doesn't um, perform like hugely well against the aircraft at its rank. But like I said, if you can use the turn time and its maneuverability uh, at to your advantage and make sure you burst fire those cannons, you can really use this aircraft effectively. As you can see during this match alone, I think I've achieved 8 air kills, 7 of which were in the Shriker, which is pretty decent. I mean, it is only a biplane at the end of the day, so that's a really good score. And if you can learn to use your aircraft, this aircraft like I have, then you will be able to do really well with it. But it does take a bit of practice, so just bear that in mind before you buy this aircraft. So, yes, it is worth your purchase, but make sure you learn about the aircraft and learn how to control the aircraft when you get it. A good way of practicing, actually, is probably to use the level 1 tracker, which you unlock earlier in, the, um, in this nation, and that should work out pretty well for you. So make sure you do that, and this aircraft will... It will be a good asset to your um, your lineup. So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more premium reviews, more War Thunder videos in general, and even some tutorials on the way. Uh, like and comment, all that good stuff. I've been Mustafa. Over and out.